What's up YouTube? This is a video on how to get Google Play on your iDevice. Now, Google Play, if you don't know, is a program that you can upload your music to the cloud and then stream it on your device via the Google Play app. Now, Android devices have this, but it is not available for the iPhone. It's not on the App Store, it's not in Cydia. What you have to do to get it is go into Safari and go to Music. I'll just show you guys music.google.com right there. Go to that. It's going to pop up what you see right there. Only mine's logged in and yours. you'll have to log into your uh, Google account. Um, and then once you've gone to the page, just to get the app on your home screen, you're just going to go to add to home screen. Click that. And then that will actually put the app on your your home screen. Um, once you have it on there, you just go onto your computer, upload your songs to uh, uh, the same website you just went to on your phone. Go to that same website on your computer and just uh, click upload and follow the directions on the website and upload your music to the on to the to the cloud and then you can access it right there through the app now if you notice I had the app open and when I went into it now it's restarting the app it will do that same thing it'll close there's no backgrounding on this app so you but you back out of this app it closes down and your music's not gonna be playing in the background so to to stop that you want it to background you're gonna go into city and you're gonna download backgrounder see it right there um, now you don't configure anything in backgrounder the only configuration you need to do is if you're running Siri if you have Siri um, holding the home button like you typically would do with backgrounder will not work because Siri will activate and it will not allow the backgrounding to take place so to change the way to activate Backgrounders, you just go to. I go to in application because this isn't something you're going to need throughout the phone. This is typically or specifically something that you're you're going to use in an application. Um, so I personally, I go down to status bar and I use status bar. I hold on the status bar. So um, I haven't tried any of these other activator methods. I don't know. I can't vouch for if all of them work but I know the holding the status bar works so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys you can see again the app is restarting um, had I had music playing it would have stopped and when I closed it and when I came back it would have done the same thing now see the app is going now I press and hold the you see backgrounding enable I press and held the status bar and then it popped up backgrounding enable and then the app minimized. Now, if I had my music playing, it'd still be playing right now just fine and working great and perfect and all that good stuff. And as you can see, I open the app back up and it works just fine. I can even just back out of it now. I just press the home button and I go back into it and it's fine because I already enabled the backgrounding. Now, when you close the app, it is going to disable that backgrounding and you'll have to re enable it when you uh go into that app again but um yeah there you go um i hope you guys liked the video i thought this was really cool because i i like so much music but there's a lot of it that i really just have to be in the mood for to to want to listen to it and i don't want that taking up the space on my phone but i also want to be able to access it on the go i don't have to load it onto my phone before I, I listen to it or any anything like that and I don't want to have to go to a website to listen to it. I will want the app on my phone on the home screen and now I have it and if you guys want it you guys can get it too I hope you again I hope you like the video like subscribe all that good stuff and I will catch you in the next one